welcome to today's On This Day in Tudor History. As you probably know by now, I'm Claire Ridgeway. I'm the author of several history books, including On This Day in Tudor History, which funnily enough has served as the inspiration for these videos. So I'm here every day with uh, Tudor History events for you. On this day in history, we're going back to 1517, the reign of King Henry VIII, so the 1st of May 1517, when a mob of young apprentices and labourers gathered in the city of London at St Paul's. Now, this mob then went on a complete rampage through the streets of the city, vandalising property and hurting anyone that tried to stand in their way or stop them. And the rampage of this mob came to be known as the Evil May Day Riot. Now, the mob didn't just destroy everything in their way. They were very selective in what they damaged. They chose to vandalise and loot shops and property that belonged to foreign traders in London. They saw these foreign traders as damaging the city's economy and taking work away from uh, Englishmen. It sounds like something you read on social media today, doesn't it? Um, this idea had been encouraged, according to chronicler Edward Hall, by a London broker called John Lincoln. Now, Lincoln had written a bill that Easter, Easter of that very year, so just he'd just done it, encouraging Dr Henry Standish, who was a popular London preacher and also a warden of the Mendicant Friars, to use his Easter sermon to try and persuade the mayor and the aldermen of the city to take part with the commonality against the strangers. So John Lincoln wanted Standish to use his sermon to attack uh, foreigners and strangers. Now, Standish refused to do this. He had no interest in doing this. But as is always the way, someone else was willing to do it. And so a man um, who is named as Dr. Beale or Dr. Bell in the contemporary sources preached it instead, saying, well, so it is that the aliens and strangers eat the bread from the poor fatherless children and take the living from all the artificers and the intercourse from all merchants, whereby poverty is so much increased that every man bewaileth the misery of other, for crafts may be brought to beggary and merchants to neediness. He also advised that as birds would defend their nest, so ought Englishmen to cherish and defend themselves and to hurt and grieve aliens for the common weal. Now, although Edward Hall blames uh, this sermon, which, you know, these are strong words, probably very rousing words to, uh, you know, people preying on these, on these people and perhaps manipulating people that are easily led. So although Hall blames that sermon for the riot, historian Graham Noble has pointed out that the sermon actually took place two weeks before the troubles started. And that's quite a, a long time between sermon and the riot. And he feels that it's more likely, the riot is more likely to have been caused by um, the government, um, the way that they reacted to some sporadic attacks uh, two days before the riot. Um, what they did, the way they reacted to it was they brought in a curfew on May Day, um, which of course May Day was, you know, a time of celebration, a time of fun, a time of merriment, a time of feasting. And so a curfew on May Day would not have gone down well with the population. So he blames that, that, that kind of very harsh sort of treatment uh, for the riots because it really wouldn't have gone down well on May Day. Now, there was this evil May Day riot, this rampaging, this vandalising and that. And the way that the Crown reacted, the government reacted, was the Duke of Norfolk and his men 
went into the city and arrested some of the troublemakers. And 13 of these troublemakers were executed on the 4th of May. Uh, with John Lincoln, that man that had uh, had asked for this sermon to be preached, that had written this bill encouraging Standish and then, of course, Beale to do this sermon, he was executed on the 7th of May. Now, Queen Catherine of Aragon, uh, first wife of Henry VIII, she was queen consort at this time, and Henry VIII's sisters, Margaret and Mary, pleaded with the king for mercy on behalf of these young apprentices and labourers and so others were saved. Uh, yeah, there were these executions but then these women stepped in and interceded with the king and pleaded for mercy. Now some people obviously uh, take that at face value that these women stepped in and saved the day for these young men. But quite a lot of historians believe that this was a huge PR exercise by the King and Wolsey. Uh, but, you know, they, they pretended that it was the women's idea, you know, the women being merciful and they were acting because of this intercession, but that it was just a huge PR exercise. So, that's what happened on this day in 1517. Instead of uh, maypole dancing and fun and feasting, London actually had this mob going through it and the shops and property of foreign traders were damaged and looted. The evil May Day riot. I'll be back tomorrow with another Tudor history event for you. You can subscribe to the channel by clicking there and I'd love it if you do that. It is rather nice to have subscribers and you can hit the bell to be notified if you want to be notified as soon as videos go live. Thank you for all your comments. Uh, I can't keep track of all of them. I try and like some when I can and I try and respond to questions but it's getting very difficult but I so appreciate you following my work and watching my videos. See you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.